Welcome, ladies, gentlemen. I'm your host. This is functional. This functions well. I'm your boy Sid, aka Mr. Let's Talk. Screaming Let's Talk. What are we talking about today? Protection. Protection. Comes with a certain level of authority. Comes with a certain level of authority. So. It, we gotta talk about this one. So we should listen to the police because they're protecting us and that gives them the right to supersede us? Um, hmm. You know, that's that's a good way to look at it, but it's the police, so that's a whole different conversation, okay, okay, right? Okay, okay, okay. I think in this one it's more of when women say that men should protect, protect and provide, right? So let's talk about the protect part. Protect and provide and shut the fuck up? Right. Okay, right. So okay. let's talk right. about the protect right. part, right? Um, I don't know if y'all been seeing the the security agent dude or like bodyguard dude who been going around black dude with a beard. Uh, uh he always be yeah, talking. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I watch now, videos. not the one from Detroit who, who who be trying to disarm people with the gun. Not tactical, him. Tactical, tactical. Uh, but this dude is yeah. a black dude. Look real That's, serious. Oh, oh. got a beard. Oh. It's gray. Yeah. That's and all. um, he was talking about it, right? He was talking about it. Um, and some of the points he was making, I'm like, I said the exact same thing. He said, when you are, are, are providing protection for someone, you have a certain level of authority over them. Yes. And yes, that's what a lot of men be talking about, right? So if I'm supposed to protect you, put my life on the line for you, you need to go when I say go. We listen. need to leave when I say leave. Right. You need to not talk to that person when I say don't talk to that person. Because there's, there's a certain level of, of uh, awareness that your, protection, that your protection provider has that you may not have. Which is why he's the protector. You see what I'm saying? He's looking. He's constantly watching. He sees something you don't. He hears something you didn't. But in this authority... Mm -hmm. In this protection, mm -hmm. are we talking about man or woman or husband or wife? Um, let's start man and woman first. Okay. Just just man and woman. So the general woman mm -hmm. should listen to a man in a, in a situation of chaos and panic. Absolutely. I believe me and you were watching a video and the teacher... No, no, no. I was talking to uh, one of my people that, that came. Yeah. I was talking to one of my people mm -hmm. and by man, I was talking to my barber. Okay. I was talking about Barber, and, he, and his son said that the teacher told him they did a, a drill for an active shooter. Mm -hmm. And the way the way it goes, he's supposed to lock the door and get as far away from the door and pack all the kids behind him in a corner. Okay. Okay. So the drill went off. He didn't un, he didn't lock his door. He unlocked his door, went out the door to the left, which was out, outside the building, and he was like, "This is the proper way that you." get away from an active shooter. Mm -hmm. So the principal, whatever came, he was like, why you didn't do what I asked you to do? He like, because it didn't make sense to wait in this classroom and be a sitting duck mm -hmm. for a person with an active weapon trying to hurt kids if the door's right there. So he said, okay, well, you're going to lock the door. And he said, go back out and come back in. And the man didn't move. Mm -hmm. The door was locked. No kid touched it, nothing. The, the principal came in and walked out. Mm -hmm. And when he tried to come in again, the door was locked. He said, hey, unlock the door. And he said, come in. And the door was unlocked. But I say that to say that the the, the protective part, mm -hmm. the kids got to listen to the authority. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes when people think of protection, they don't know what to protect you from. And I say that from the man and woman situation. Like sometimes y'all women think men are being controlling because... What he's trying to do is protect you from something potentially happening. And you take it as he's just being jealous or he's being controlling because he don't want you to do something and have fun. Now, in that situation, if a man say, I want to sit with my back to the door, it's probably because he, he's going to try to take down an active shooter or a robber if they walk in the door, he has a jump on him. If it back is to the man and you see it, oh my God, man, he got a gun. You might have got me shot trying to stand up. So... No, I'm, I'm with you. I agree. And that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's exactly the type of stuff that we're talking about because 
as a protector, you're you're in protection mode twenty four seven. Right. It may not be in a quote unquote hood. Right. You could be in a mall. Right. In the nice side of town. Mm -hmm. But still, as a protector, let's say you walking with your wife, you walking with your girl, your you kids. walking with your kids. Right. You walking with your mama who's elderly. You are in protection mode twenty four seven. From the time you pick them up to the time you drop them back off. Even once you drop them back off, that's where your mind is still at. So we are constantly looking. And once again, the last thing that we need, if we would our, let's say our, our girlfriend or our wife, you know what I'm saying? I'm married, you know what I'm saying? So in my case, my wife. Um, <clears throat> and of course she wouldn't, but I'm just, I'm going to use her as an example. Baby, don't beat me up. Let's say something going down and I'm like, baby, come on, let's go. And she'd get the bucket like, no, nigga, I ain't going. I'm going this way. Now, as my as the, hot one. right as the husband, do you say, "She, I, you go your way and I'm going my way"? You said it. You see what I'm saying? Or do you grab him like, "Hey, stop fucking playing, let's go"? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, because, I don't have time to explain it to you. Right, you may have to just take charge like that mm. as the protector. You may know that the threat is that way. Was she about to run? She didn't see them go that way. So, as the protector, you may have. Later on, you might get cussed out, you know what I'm saying, for, for yelling out or whatever, but so be it. Yeah. At least she's okay to cuss you out. So as a protector, you do what you have to do to constantly protect. Right. Um, in the husband-wife situation, protect and provide, it's not for a slave. You don't protect and provide for your slave. Um, basically, it's it's the authority where you supersede the nonsense that a person could be thinking. Mm -hmm. Uh they, uh, should the kids go to the movie by themselves? The movie did it bad sometimes, but not all the time. No, no, baby, they shouldn't go to that movie theater. They should go to another movie theater where it's safer and, and less crowded. Like, things of that nature is also protecting and providing. Absolutely. Yes. It's not always a, I protect you by being your human shield. Right. But right. nine out of ten times, a man to his wife will jump in front of the bullet if he had the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Um, a boyfriend to do it for a girlfriend, mm -hmm. but some women to do it for a man. Mm -hmm. They'll mm -hmm. definitely do it for their children. Mm -hmm. But that's that protect, right? But that's not only thing that protect means. Protect can also be pointing you in the right direction, mm -hmm. giving you the right navigation mm -hmm. through a situation. Mm -hmm. It may not always be a hand to hand, a, a dude disrespect you, so nope. I got to take up your honor. It may not always be that. No, it's gonna be. Uh, you hear the term protect people from themselves. Um, you could be a protector in the sense of you take the load, you bear the load of, let's say she been with the kids all day mm -hmm. or for, for extended hours, you know what I'm saying, than, than what's normal. You come in and take the load. You see what I'm saying? So you are protecting her mentally. Like, oh, yeah. let me let me protect your mental because I understand you build this is kids all day, right? Right. So that's another form of protection. Like he said, it's not always about fisticuffs. You know what I'm talking about? They like to say, it's, it's just being there for somebody and letting them know that, hey, I got you. Now, unfortunately, um, excuse me, not unfortunately, but fortunately, fortunately, mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, the physical stuff, most women know that they man going to protect them or at least attempt to. Attempt to, to Attempt yes. to, you know. So, yeah. And right. if, if she didn't think that, she wouldn't be with them because... Do can have all the money and all that other stuff, but one thing women don't play about is security and safety. Come on, Bill. What? Right. The logical <laughs> ones, anyway. Yeah, the logical ones. They ain't gonna drop that dude who got the bread. They just ain't gonna uh, stay with him or go with him in too many places. No, no, they because they don't feel them. safe with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They know he got the bread, though. Yeah. So yeah. they ain't gonna cut him off. But yeah, you can take him to the mall. Right, right. Even nowadays, the mom ain't safe. Right. But, you know. She might tell him, you can order me something off Amazon. Or Sheen or whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or Timu or whoever they fucking with now. Fashion over. <laughs> hey, let me get the new slides out Fashion over. They're going to get a haul. That's what they call it. I went to wherever and got a haul. Yeah. And that just means a lot of clothes. Yeah, they, they overhaul, yeah. Yeah, you know. I went to, uh, like you said, Sheen. Sheen, however, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but Sheen. however it's called. Sheen. I went there. Spent a hundred dollars and got seven hundred outfits. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because Timu was like that too. You spend a hundred at Timu, you got you quite a few shirts, hats, you got a, you got a box. whatever you. Yeah, exactly. A nice little box. Yeah, exactly. Box. A nice big box. You know. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, y'all, that's that's it. That's what we talking about. Protection. The protection part. Um, 
we'll come back with the provide part once again that's a lot of people do that one so right and but we we're gonna give our take on that yeah, too. we give a different spin to it absolutely absolutely all right with that oil with that being said i'm your host this dysfunctional dysfunctional world i'm your boy said aka mr let's talk we out of time till the next time screaming let's talk peace, peace.